in sync. We all have and to And welcome to To the House. That's a football phrase, and this is a football show. It's Nick Hederick, Jack O'Brien, Connor Lawrence. He's not going to be on Stranded every week yet, but he is going to be on this every week. So, guys, thanks for being here. Yeah, you, you know, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled to be here. I'm absolutely thrilled to be here, Nick. Well, that's It's good. not like we were already just in here for an hour. Yeah, right. Um, Connor, thanks for being here. The newest talent acquisition to Stranded Sports. It's an honor to be here, Nick. Oh. I love talking football. <laughs> you hear that? It's an honor for him. It's just great it to is. be here for you. Wow, you really don't know what you're into, what you're getting into. <laughs> Talk some football. That's all that matters. All right, so what? how this is going to work, we are going to be predicting every game each week. We're aware we're college students, and the season's going to end while we're on winter break. And there's also Thanksgiving break. And we're not going to do some half-ass, here's our predictions on Twitter thing. So I've determined that week 13, 14 is right the last week before school ends and finals week for that semester. So Probably that's about be right. the last week of the season. Because I don't really know the schedule for that. Right, yeah. right. I found out last night at 2 in the morning when I do all my critical thinking. Terrific. So how this is going to work, three points are at stake each week. Whoever gets the most games predicted right, best record, will get two points. Second place gets one. Third place gets zero. So it's like a hockey point system almost. 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 If there's a tie for first. Because that needs to change. If there's a tie for first, the two people tied for first will get 1.5 points. The guy in last will get zero. And then. What if it goes to overtime? Shootout. Both teams get a point? Shootout. Shootout. All right. If there's a tie for what? I don't remember the tie for second. Oh, yes, the tie for second. Both people get 0. .5 in first place. Games. We'll worry about tiebreakers. We'll, we'll cross we'll that bridge when we get to it. We're professionals. We'll cross that and bridge when we like get to it. if you don't like the scoring it. system, our good friend Alec Bright, who lives in Concord Hall 308, came up with the scoring system, not me. Terrific. <laughs> All right, so we're going to jump right into this. Packers at Bears. What do you guys think? Bears. Definitely Bears. I think it's Bears. It comes down to defense, I think Bears. after last year when they were winning and uh, Andrew Luck, Aaron Rodgers got hurt and he then came back out and proved everyone wrong and they ended up winning the game, I think the Bears are a bit pissed off about that. Absolutely. And so I think the Bears win. We all say Bears. Yeah, that's that. All Duh. Bears. Bears. All Bears. Who's next? Now we get to the exciting Sunday's game with the newest, you know, signing, one of the newest contract extensions, Jared Goff. At Carolina, playing Cam Newton in the Panthers. First of all, what did you think about Jared Goff's meaty contract with hundreds of millions of guaranteed money? It's a lot of money. That's it's a, a lot, lot of money of to money. score three points in the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> that Greg the leg got. Yeah. Oh. Can we? Can we? I don't know. It was a weird Super Bowl. We're not going to get into it. <laughs> um, but the Rams will win this game. They're gonna score. They're gonna score more than three in this the Rams as well. Ironically, the point. Ironically, the point spreads three, which is really mixing it up here. Next, we have the Redskins at Philadelphia. Eagles, Philly. I would also say Philly. A lot of these games are gonna be hard for us to make a solid argument. But I think I think this uh, Darius Juice guy. Nobody wants to go against the grain. I like him too. I think Juice is week one. The Juice is loose. Bills at Jets. (laughs) Juice has been loose, baby. Bills at Jets, I say Jets. I want to say Bills. I'm going to go with the Bills. Josh Allen, rocket arm. Looks great in shorts. He's tall. Hell of a guy. Falcons at Vikings. Falcons and Vikings. Falcons. The Falcons are actually an underdog in this one, and I'm not I'm sure why. A lot say, of people are discrediting Atlanta this year. I'm going to say I don't know the why. Vikings. This, this one's a tough one. This is probably you know, my this game. Is, we're going to do games of the week. My game of the week is the Falcons and Vikings. This is definitely a candidate. Put that on the lower third or full screen graphic. Definitely a candidate for game of the week for me as well. Uh, I'm going to have to go with Vikings. All right. Um, and Jack I, said the Falcons, so we'll I see what Falcons. that one plays out like. San Atlanta. Ravens are going to Miami to play the Dolphins. What do you guys have in that one? Uh, Ravens. Baltimore. Baltimore's going to come out of that one. I think Baltimore's the obvious choice there, so we'll also say the Ravens, Chiefs at Jaguars. I have the Chiefs. 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 Okay, all Chiefs. Chiefs. I don't know why we all took a why did I pause. Actually, why did I take a pause? Dramatic pause. We all took a really dramatic pause, thinking. Why did I even think? You caught me off rounds. guard. This is actually a tough game, too. In my opinion, it's uh, a really tough game. But I, have I don't Browns. know. I, see, like, Tennessee or... Uh, 
Tennessee will surprise you from time to so- from time to time, and actually look really like a really good teams team. Teams where it, yeah. all, Mariota will play like crap, and then all of a sudden he'll run for a hundred yards and throw for two hundred and have like four combined touchdowns. Yeah, and Derrick Henry will barrel like seven guys over. And, I do, you know, but have a ninety-nine yard touchdown. Yeah. They're a kind of hard team. To well, Tennessee out. might be that team, but I actually I think the Browns will come out hot week one. I think they do too. They've got a lot of they have a lot of momentum. I have to go with the Browns as well. I think you know just. Everything that they had in preseason balled up into week one, all all the surrounding stories in the offseason, I think it really goes into week one, and they come out and dominate the Titans. Now the 405 games, two of them. Colts at Chargers. I got the Chargers. I would expect you to say the same. Yeah. Even and, like, I mean, it, yeah, I'm picking the Chargers, but I'd also— Melvin Gordon or not, Chargers. Yeah. Connor looked like even, he was about to explain his answer. Even as a Colts fan, i got to go with the Chargers. Okay. They're, they're one of my uh, Super Bowl favorites early all preseason. Right. Not Super Bowl favorites. The Bengals will take on Absolutely not. the Seattle Seahawks. At Seattle, I think the Seahawks Seattle. are pretty good. Seattle. Seattle. So far, we've differed on two games. Incredible. What, di- are, what diversity of answers. 49ers at Buccaneers, maybe we'll get some differing answers on this Ooh. one. I have the San Francisco 49ers going down to Tampa and kicking some butt. I got Jimmy G rolling in there. And I think Jimmy G rolls in big. I'm going to have to agree with both of you. Yep, right. see, yeah, see, so never mind. Never mind. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Giants at Cowboys. 425 games. The last game was the Look, I don't want to be. Game. Do I want to see, do I want to see uh, Daniel Jones come out and shock the world? Yeah, but it's Absolutely. not going to happen. Cow- Cowboys are going to win. I say the Cowboys. Cowboys week one. All right, Seven we are favorites. really kicking here. Yeah. Lions My God. at Cardinals. Lions. I'm going to have to go with the Lions. Lions. I like what Matt Patricia is doing up there in Detroit. i got to go all Lions for that one. That is now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight games in a row. We've all disagreed. Nice. Week one's hard. Week, one's not week one hard, is the most difficult week. Base it off of yeah. last year. Definitely the most difficult week. Steelers at Patriots. This is going to be a fun one. Mm. Well, they did it last year. All right, they slayed the dragon last year, but, but they at what cost? Beat sub 500 teams exactly. to make it into the playoffs. But at what cost? All right, what did it cost you? Everything. Um, I say New England defends home turf. I'm going to go against the green. I'm going to go with the Steelers. I also am going to say New England, going back to Jack's point. Um, I think on the road, that's a tough game for this kind of, I don't want to call it like new face Steelers team, but a young kind of new draft picks coming in. And I think you know what? At New England, I'm going to say the Patriots win. That Pittsburgh pride. That Pittsburgh pride. No, I don't want. I don't want. I don't like it anymore. <laughs> I don't like it. All Patriots, we go back. Depends to. how much Devin Bush plays. All right. That's not an answer. We can't tally that up on the. Okay, we're going to say Patriots. We're going to have one for wins, one for losses, and another tally for Devin Bush. If on the Devin side. Bush plays <laughs> a lot. Depending on Devin Bush. Depending on time. depending Devin on Bush. Devin Bush's playing time. Monday night games, the classic week one Monday night doubleheader because oh you don't have anything to do Tuesday, apparently. Uh, Texans at Saints. 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 Texans. It's going to be fun again. It's going to be a fun I'm game. I'm going to say the Texans. It's going to be a the fun Texans game. Saints it could are a be Super Bowl a... prediction for me in the NFC, but I think week one they stumble out of the gate with how last season ended still on their minds, and I think the Texans have a lot to prove right now. I think they come out in shock mm-hmm. the Saints. Very respectable pick. DeAndre Hopkins is gonna have a monster game. We're just gonna—I I, want to say that a lot. Of, like I saw something that said like he might be slowed down week one by the Saints D. I think he's—I think that's horseshit. I think he's gonna come out. And just I think Deshaun Watson has a lot to prove. Yeah, now with Andrew Luck cool. retired, Fancy I just think God. that that division not necessarily is anybody's for the taking, but I think the Texans need to come on come into that game with the motivation behind them. Exactly. Final game of the week one: Broncos at Raiders. <sighs> Oh I got Joe Flacco, the elite, <laughs> the elite one. Oh, Joe Flacco. These, this is one of those difficult games for me. Divisional. This is a big and, question mark for me as well. I think the Broncos will do it, be able to pull it off here. But well, I think well, I think Gruden's definitely what division game. Gruden's definitely going to be like you know come out of the gates like he's going to be hyping his team up. It's going to be a really good moment, and they're going to go out there and they're going to lose by like fourteen points. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You know, gonna, I'm taking Denver. You know, the AFC West, especially these two, Denver and Oakland, always play in tight games. In the past couple mm-hmm. seasons, I, I really noticed. I think I remember seeing some nine to six games, wacky things like that. It's lo- usually low scoring. It's very low scoring. 
Uh, but I got to go with Denver. I just think a lot of Oakland's offseason stuff, still with Antonio Brown and, and coming in from a, a wacky training camp, I don't know if you guys watch Hard Knocks, but yeah, it's just been weird. Behind the scenes, it's just so, been it's been wacky. weird, and uh, I, I'm gonna have to go with Denver. Not many games are redifferent, so we'll see if there's a three-way tie for something next week. Yeah. Um. Right now, I said my game of the week is the Falcons and Vikings. I think that's a. I don't know if the Falcons are a playoff team this year, but I want to say playoff level talent on both teams. Both teams probably should have a fair shot at the playoffs that's a really good game for a one o'clock week one game what are your guys' picks for games of the week my game of the week is tennessee and cleveland because i'm expecting cleveland to do some big things come out of the gates hot you know more or less of what we've touched on on stranded our home podcast check that the out. podcast that you can listen to on spreaker spotify no, and not Apple spreaker Music. not I'm spreaker anymore sports.com <laughs> Apple Podcasts, whatever Google people use, and Spotify, and wherever you like your podcast to be, you know, yeah. played on. Springer's dead to oh, us at least. Ahead. Kind of an obvious choice for me. I don't know. Different between you two. Uh, I think it has to be the Steelers against the Patriots. I think there's a lot behind the Steelers this year. I think this is the type of game, as we saw they defeated New England last season. Um, I think this is the type of game that the Steelers can come out and win take off of New England. New England may be suffering from Super Bowl hangover as we try to, we want to see every single year, but yeah. sometimes it just never happens, unfortunately. Uh, I think the Steelers really take this game. They All steal right. a win off of New England. Do you guys, I, this wasn't in the rundown, so I'm not sure if you have answers. Do you have any fantasy players that you want to really emphasize and make sure you play week one here? I don't know because uh, I still don't know my rosters that well. Draft, <laughs> drafted this I last didn't, week. I don't have to be yours. I'm just saying, you know, I no. my pick would personally be Ezekiel Elliott because that guy waited for his contract. Him or Le'Veon Bell, two guys that kind of had some holdouts on contracts. Le'Veon Bell obviously might be a risk because he hasn't played in a year, but I think two running backs hungry to prove they were worth that money. They both come out of the gate strong. Well, my fantasy players of the week: Ezekiel Elliott and Le'Veon Bell. Mine is Jimmy Garoppolo. That's fair. That's I want. Fair. I want to see if he can actually a be a number one. Couple seasons ago, we saw him do really well when he got that chance to play last year. Big things were expected. Got hurt. You know, kind of hindered that. We'll see how. We'll see how we'll he see recovers. Connor, you got my fa- my fantasy player to watch. I just have one at the moment. Um, it has to be Austin Eckler. Okay. A little bit of a, uh, a sub radar guy. You may not know like too too much about him, but um, in the absence of Melvin Gordon, I think. He can define the game against the Colts, uh, whether it be red zone, you know, little plays and uh, things like that. I think it come down to him. Um, another player, two more players, actually, Travis Kelsey and Adam Thielen. Pretty, obvi- pretty obvious there, but I think depending on Kirk Cousins' ability in week one, right. the Vikings also may have, you know, motivation, totally different team to win a division or to uh, – reach division heights again all right well that has been to the house week one we'll see how we did follow us on twitter at stranded under underscore sports to follow along see how we did we'll be back next thursday as well thanks for tuning in and listen to stranded sports podcast on what we plugged earlier if you want to hear more thank you guys for tuning in thank you guys for being here we'll see you next week